Hey, what's up guys? My name is Jen and today we're going to do Jolene by Dolly Parton, one of my favorite songs. I'm going to teach you two ways how to play it with the capo and without. We're going to start with the capo on the fourth fret. Now keep in mind, I'm going to call out chords like A minor, C, G, E minor, things like that. It's just the chord shapes, not the actual chord, okay? So let's start with the intro. Super cool intro. I'm going to take it really slow. So we're going to start with like this A sus2 shape and we're going to play open 5 third string fourth string open second string and that's with thumb first finger thumb middle finger then we have open 5 and we're going to do this little hammer on thing on the fourth string and second string. So you're going to hit the open four and open two and then hammer on with your first finger and middle finger. So your middle finger is going to hit the second fret fourth string. The first finger is going to hit the first fret second string. So then it's nice and easy. We've got open five open three and two, open four. Then we have open five, first fret, second string, pull off to open, open four, open three. So take your time with this, write it down if you need to, don't expect to get everything off of the first pass. I definitely didn't. So don't sweat it if you need to take some time. I'm going to try to play that for you right now. Here we go. Nice and slow. So take your time, bar by bar with that, no rush, get it when you can. Now let's go into the chords. Easy open position chords, but the thing is, it's fast. It's really, really fast. So here's our A minor, then we go to C, then G, then A minor, and we have G, G again. So here's the rhythm of it. So we're just going to do one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. Let's repeat that. Now, that's the chorus. She starts, it goes intro and then chorus or hook, and then she goes into the verse, which is pretty much the same thing. But here's a little variation that you can do actually in the verse or the chorus. So, we have A minor. This is your verse. on the chorus because you could go Jolene, 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 Jolene. I'm begging of you please don't take my man I've seen it played uh, both ways and I think both 
both work. Or you could go to Stay on G, please don't take him just because you can. So I think it would be cool if you did a little variation on that, you know, mix it up a bit. When maybe when the lyrics are slightly darker, throw that E minor in there. But uh, that's how you can make it a little more interesting between the verse and the chorus because it's basically the same thing. Uh, there's just a little extra A minor in the chorus that's not in the verse. That makes sense? Okay, so the capo is now off. Let's try that intro lick. It's a little bit hard for my, my hamster hands to hold down, so we're gonna try it anyways. Okay, so you're gonna do this like C sharp, sus four chord, I'm sorry, sus two chord, and you're gonna do, so just hold that chord down and hit the uh, five, three, four, two, and then you're gonna hit that fifth string, which is on the fourth fret, then do your open and hammer on. So the third finger is hammering on to the sixth fret on the fourth string. Your middle finger is hammering on to the fifth fret second string. Then you can just hold this bar and hit fifth string, third string, second string, fourth string. Then fifth string, put your middle finger down on the second string, fifth fret. Do a pull off. Then fourth string, third string. So let me try to play that nice and slow. Okay, so now let's start playing some chords. We've got C sharp minor. Then we have E, so we could take open position E, or we could take E up here on the seventh fret. So you could go, or you could do. Then we have B. And we have the same kind of options here. So we can go C sharp minor, E, then take B here. Or we can have C sharp minor, E, then take B here, and then we're back to the C sharp minor. So I'm going to go down to open position first. So we go one. We've got now we go to this B. And hang out on that C sharp minor a little bit longer. That's your chorus. So Now the verse is basically the same thing, but we can throw in a little variation. So we've got C sharp minor, E, B, then C sharp minor, but only half as long. Then we go B. Now here's what's cool. You can add a G sharp minor if you wanted to back to C sharp minor. And you can actually add it into the verse or the chorus in the same spot. It doesn't matter. It sounds really, really cool. So you can do something like this. Go to B, G sharp minor, then C sharp. 
sharp minor. And then hang out there for a second. Now let's do it without the G sharp minor. Beauty is beyond compare. Flaming locks of auburn hair. B. Stay on B, then C sharp minor. <laughs> now let's trick that let's go into the chorus and see how that sounds. without Jolene, 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 Jolene. Just stay on me. Now for the strumming, because it is so fast, I'm kind of adding in the 16th notes after the fact. So you can do something like... Oh, I'm going to play it right this way. Gave a slightly different rhythm for the capo, but let's try down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Now I'm hitting that two a little bit harder, so it's like one, two, and four. So fast, it's gonna sound. So I'm just adding some little embellishments in there. If you're not ready for that, or if you're just like trying bar chords and this is a lot of movement for you, keep it very simple because it can still sound good with like muted eighth notes. Uh, so let's do. If that's all you can do right now and not get into the, the more complicated right hand or strumming hand, it's totally fine. Get the chords first, if bar chords are new for you, or if some of these shapes are new for you, then go to the right hand. But a lot of the times, uh, especially with beginners or, or uh, early intermediates, they want to do both. So they'll do like, uh, they'll do something like, And like, yeah, but it doesn't sound like the song. I'm like, exactly, it doesn't sound like the song. So first, get your chords going in time. You know, just by one, two, three, four, so on and so forth. Then work up your right hand when you feel more comfortable with your left. But don't try to do both at the same time if it's new for you. Okay, so that is the whole thing. It's also uh, in C sharp minor. So if you play a C sharp minor pentatonic over it, it'll sound good. You can practice your soloing. So I would start uh, on, with this shape on the ninth fret. So you go 9, 12, 9, 11, 9, 11, 9, 11, 9, 12. 12 and that will be a good way for you to practice your soloing over this awesome song thank you dolly parton that's it